Hello everyone, welcome back to Developers and Coders Club of NIT Gartala. Today we are going to discuss Code Forces Round 865's Problem B which is Grid Reconstruction. In this question basically we have to form a 2 cross n grid where uh, we will be having number from 1 to 2 n and we will be filling all the grids from this to this number and we can use each number only once. And also we have to start from left topmost corner which is 1 comma 1 and we have to end at uh, right lowermost corner which is 2 comma n. Uh, we will be calculating cost of the path according to this formula which is alternate sum of positions value okay so we have to calculate the maximum value of the minimum value of any cost like let me explain uh, assume we are making different type of grids 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 let's take this example and we are traversing like this so in this first we will add this then we will subtract this then we will add this then we will subtract this and we will add this so the total cost will be 1 minus 2 plus 6 minus 7 plus 8 and it will be something so in different type of grids we can form different type of paths and uh, in all those paths we will get a minimum value and we have to maximize that minimum value means we we will be having different type of grip, grids and all from all those grids we have to draw that grid uh, in which the minimum value of our um, our path is maximized okay so basically this question looks very tough on the first side but if you observe you will find a pattern let me tell you what is the pattern so basically if we have to draw a grid of size 6 so uh, if you will observe you will find that all these positions this means this position this position this position this and this all these will always get add up means if we will traverse it doesn't matter how we traverse but all these position will be plus only it will get add up and all others positions mean this alternative position it will get subtracted so now we have to find the maximum so what we can do we can put on all these addition value position uh, with maximum value and all these subtraction position with minimum value like if we have to form 6 then our range will be from 1 to 12 so we can put 12 11 10 9 8 and 7 and then we can fill it 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this so uh, whenever we will travel uh, we will be adding maximum values and we will be subtracting minimum values now in this question uh, one thing is more that uh, if we traverse then at last we will come here and uh, in the question it is given that n will be always even so it means that we will always end up here and we will always start here so to maximize like there might be a path which do not traverse from this position so it will not get add up so what we can do is we can put this maximum value here so we can exchange these two so uh, what we will be doing we will be just forming a simple pattern like this alternative position with maximum values and this alternative position with minimum value and then we will swap these two positions and it will be our answer now let's see the code so this is our code so uh, I'm directly printing it so I took maximum value 2n which will be our maximum and 2 for the second one and then I printed it is little complex but if you will observe you will you will understand that it is just the of what I told in this 
explanation so let's let me explain this so we will be iterating this is our first line and, and this one for loop is for our second line in this I am iterating from i equal to 0 to i equal to n and on each iteration I am checking uh, this let me explain here okay so I am printing it something like this first I am printing 12 and then I am printing 2 then I am printing uh, 12 minus 2 10 and then 2 plus 2 4 and then 10 minus 2 8 and on the second line I am starting with 1 and 11 this these are two values which I am printing like 1 11 then 1 plus 2 3 11 minus 2 which will be 9 3 plus 2 which will be 5 and 9 minus 2 which will be 7 so this forms pattern like this and then uh, what I'm doing is I am just swapping these two so I have considered this in my code like when I come at this position I just put the value of this position and when I come to this position I put this on this so uh, it is here it is here as you can see these two checks are for those two position and all other code are same so this is the solution for this question i hope you understood thank you